Alright, just before I start this video, I just want to say I'm recording this uh, section uh, The last time I edited this on the 5th uh, The volume, when I start in-game, in this is replay, okay When I start around recording this The volume suddenly increases until so loud, you know Even though I lowered the volume it suddenly goes so loud that I can't even hear my voice explaining. When it starts around before I started uh, the race, the longer I'm in the race, the louder the volume becomes. So I realized this, I had to record this again. So I did a second time. And when I did the second time, the volume was okay. For some, everything, everything in the game volume is already low. But the longer I record, the volume goes high again and I can't hear my voice again. So uh this is so annoying. I don't know why it's wrong with is it is it my recording or what? So I'm going to record this the third time and I hope this won't happen again. <laughs> so if you're wondering why the second part is so long, it's because of editing this. When the volume is so loud I cannot hear my own voice even. Because I, what I do is, I lower the volume and increase the volume here so so you can hear my voice louder. But because of this, uh, I have to record, re-record again. So this is now my third time editing this part, uh, recording this part. <laughs> Alright, that's all I want to say. Okay, so I was thinking why not just do some training on that map using S uh, S speed breaker, whatever you want to call it. So, training. Alright, so what I said just now, we'll see the different cases. Now. Okay, so I'll start from here, the beginning. This is WCW. Okay, how, how about how about I start from the beginning, the, the real beginning? Which one is better? Uh, wait, that's not it. Okay, usually if you don't have to turn, also okay, two seconds you reach here already. If you snap boost. And then you have to turn right. Okay. Compare that with just uh just a slight big boost. Especially faster doing that. Okay. This part here. I want to do continuous and reach here. So I'll show you show you what I'm supposed to actually do. So yeah, here. I want to get CW right here so I can continue to the end. It's a bit difficult. Okay, but I'll show you an easy way. If you don't want to do continuous. Just see that WCW, and then you just use the nitro here. Ten or so, but then you will have to continue stay on it. But here you won't be faster. Here you will be slow. So what I prefer to do? Yeah, there you go. But this part I will be doing long. This part will be long. But I did a continuous there. So basically you saw that the nitro has a line, right? So I have to boost before that line finishes. That's how I get continuous. So that to the there. That's how my speed goes high. So usually once after I do that, once I reach around this area I, I do see the W. Right here. And I want to land here so I can continue. Uh, that's how 
fast you want to be. If you're really good, lah, you can go that fast and still go here without hitting the wall. So for me, it's still not. Uh, I still can't master that yet. I have to learn that here and continue everything is fast. And then keep going. You have another nitro, then you go fast. So it's a bit difficult to do all that in very fast speed. That's how you want to go fast in this section. Go to the star. They say if you start with here, you know, if you the one if you really want to go uh, fast, really really fast, don't do slide jump because slide jump will slow slow you down. You just keep going uh, while in that fast speed. Just turn right and go here like that. Ah, uh, then now I'm still at the start. That explaining the what ways you can do at the start. Alright, I forgot to explain about the jump part. Let me go to the jump part. Huh? Okay, ah, uh, okay. Let's say you don't have nitro, right? You use double boost, you really can't make it. You have to use a nitro. I think I said this before already. And also your angle, yeah, yeah. I forgot the angle of where you're jumping. So let's say you jump, but you're too much on the left. You're not gonna make it. So you have to be more than. Uh, the middle of this thing more on the right side if you are more to the left side you will never make it okay, this is my game setting eh? volume setting and i just put one volume only one so it's like you barely can't hear anything in the game so if that happens again i don't know what to do <laughs> all right back to where i was okay so i already explained all this part until here then the suddenly volume so loud so i'll start from here again um no actually I'll start from here. Okay, where what did I say just now? Alright. I did say about the boost here. You can hit the boost, but you will you will have to you will force to, to do a bump boost and everything. Which is slower. If you're trying to to hit that thing, uh, unless you don't want to bump boost, but it's still slow. So what I prefer is to do slight drift like that. And when you slight drift, you don't hit the ball on the right, so you just have to turn here, which is much easier. If you don't bump, if you don't slight drift, you will have to deal with this wall on the right. So you're doing a slight drift at the bottom will, will not help. Still not enough. So you have to slide through from the beginning, and then adjust your angle from here. And also, if you don't do it too late, because if you do it too late, you will hit this thing, and that will stop you. So I prefer do it when you see the arrow here. Then you start doing the slide drift. Okay, now for this section, this is just slide drift, but slide drift you have to quick turn after that. You can use your brake to help. If you don't use brake, you, that will happen. So while you're braking, you quick quick turn so that you won't hit the wall. So there's three things you need to do: slide drift, brake, and quick turn. Slide drift, brake, you will hit the wall. So you have to slide drift, brake, and quick turn. Don't slide drift too early, or else you hit the wall over there. And if you are too much to the right, you hit on the right. So you have to ang you have to make sure you are in the right position. Okay, this section, if you don't want to break, is okay, but it's uh, risky because you might hit the wall over here. But if you press the brake too much, you won't make the jump. Okay. And don't do too late or else you won't make you won't even make the jump. And also as you can see uh 
what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm making the car facing exactly the same as the road the road is that way I am facing that way so so it's like doing a U-turn Okay, that was an oops. And I don't use the landing moves, I keep the landing moves for this side. I keep it for this. It's, everything is much easier if you don't nitro actually. If you're because you're, you're nitro, that's why you, you have to do things very fast. After you after you land here, let's change. After you land here, turn this way, but quick turn once you are facing just like this. Quick turn right away. Quick turn and boost and start drift. So you have to do this quickly. I think from my first part, you understand this part already. You just have to quick turn, boost, start drift, use your brake to help, and then go CW. Of course, don't. Once you turn here, don't quick turn, don't slide drift too early because you have to slide drift once you pass this thing. Okay, this part I said you can do two drifts, one and then two, just to be safe. If you do one, it's a bit risky because you this part because of this part you slow down when you hit the wall. When you hit the wall, you might fall down here. So that's. There's a lot of things you need to adjust after that. It's possible to do, but I find it less risky if you do two, two drifts. So you can control this easily on the next turn. And once you reach here, hit the star. There's, you can do also, also bamboos, but I prefer not to bamboos, I prefer to slide drift. Anyway, most people do not bamboos. You can do bamboos. But I prefer to start with. And use and use the breaker assist. And if you wanna play safe, don't take the star. Just turn like that. Okay, for this part, like I said, be careful of the thing over here. Aim for here. You want to hit this thing, and then you re rebound a bit, and then you s and then you turn. But after the turning is difficult because it depends on how you bounce. So it's, this is a difficult part. If you, like I said, if you don't nitro, it's easy to do. A lot of parts is easy when you don't nitro. If you feel like you're having trouble with this because you keep hitting the wall two times, just do one long one. Just like that. But long one is so risky. Long one is so risky. So I don't know which is better. This is this is one part I always struggle with also. Because I keep hitting this, I keep hitting that. Okay, basically keep them. And then I can adjust, yeah, that's the right way. Just because I quick turn, then it's easier. Okay, next here. Like I said already, this is actually a difficult part. You want to quick turn here, you want to quick turn here, and you also want to quick turn here. So you have to do three quick turns. So basically, at this spot, the first spot here, if you don't nitro, you are going really slow. But if you go using nitro and you turn, you will go too much and you'll end up on the left side. So what I do is while nitro I do I do some slight drift to slow down a bit before I enter here. Slight drift and also quick turn lah, quick turn over here. So I can get where I want to go. And it, yeah, as you can see if I don't quick turn I'll fall down. Last part didn't do it right. I 
again like I said, if you don't nitro, it's much easier. Then you know what you're doing. But when you nitro, because you want to go fast, that's when a lot of mistakes happen. Okay, that was correct. <laughs> but I'm stuck. Okay, I'm stuck here though. So what you want to do is don't fall three times. Like here. That's the right way. Let's start here now. After this section. Of course you don't want to go here. You want to go bottom. You have some problems here. You have some problems here. So what I say keep on the right side of the star so you won't fall down. Then the second problem is that when you have to turn. Because you are going so fast, you don't even have time to turn. So if you if you have if you use nitro before the star, you're going fast. But you have problems over here. So I prefer that if you use nitro, brake a bit so you slow down so you can control. And on that turning, you can use catapults. Uh, if you break catapults, you can. But make sure you don't hit the the wall. Just slow down with the brake. Bit. Overdrive or catapult. Okay. Okay. This section just uh, I already said. There's two ways to do. One, if you're going this way, boost and then CWW, so that you can see the W over here. So is to just use your brake and then you want to see if you see that slow down here because you want to see that W over here see that W over here so it's prefer that once you do this you don't see that W you can double boost and then see W after that after your overdrift so you can see that W again here which is faster the second method uh while nitro continuous, you do a bump boost, double boost, and then overdrift CW, and then overdrift CW again. So, first method is you do you you do a break, and uh, you, uh, you do a break, whatever the break or slide drift. But the bump boost is a bit risky. Yeah. Using D car is a bit B or D is a bit difficult to do that. Try not to take the second jump because when you take the second jump, you will lose control at the end. After that, you can take the second jump. It's still possible to straighten, but it's a bit hard to control. Okay, here I said already, you don't have to nitro until here. Keep to the left here. So that you will hit one wall, not two walls. You have to hit. If you don't hit the walls, you don't need to slow down. Yet. Just hit here and then you can bump boost. If you take the right side, you you will have to do like that and then yeah. So it's better if you only hit wall. the left side of the wall. Wall. If you hit on the right wall, you you slow down also a bit. You can you can actually, but. You choose which you prefer lah. I prefer to go on the left here, the opening there, so it's faster. You finish. If you, if you have a nitro, use it. Uh, if you have an extra nitro, use it before you jump here. Okay, for example, you just spend nitro at the end, then you're fast. Okay, this is shorter than my second recording. <laughs> Alright, so like I said just now, my second recording, this is all uh, 
and uh, I'll show you this replay that I did during my stream yesterday. Uh, 145 with um, Arctic Fox. So watch. I'll show the, I'll show that one also. Those areas that I think I can improve much better if I don't mistake there lah. If I can do it perfectly there, maybe I can go below 140. I'm trying to go below 140. Right now my record's 145. This is quite long. <laughs> So hopefully you guys uh, managed to learn something from this tutorial. So thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time.